Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony with Ant's Drone, and I've got the DJI Mavic 3, and I'm going to be flying it for the first time in this video. But let's jump into the video. So I've got the DJI Mavic 3 here. I bought the Fly More combo, and in the last video, I did an unboxing and first impressions, but this is my first time actually flying it. So these, this will be kind of like my real first impression of how the flying works. Okay guys, so I've got the DJI Mavic 3 here. It's all set up, full battery. We're gonna be shooting in 5.1K at 50 frames per second. We have a full battery. So according to DJI, we should have a 46 minute flight time, but I'm thinking realistically that it'll probably be around 40 minutes, which is perfect here because we will be approaching the sunset by that time. Yeah, we're recording on the screen, so you should be able to see, and... Whoa, okay, so... Wow, let's see, this picture quality looks really, really good. And if I, let's see, if I put it in cinema mode, slow speed, so this is like better suited for cinematic video. So we're just flying here. Wow. Check that out. What a great time to come out and fly right at sunset. We're going to go up here. So first of all, I am in cinema mode. So it's like slow. I haven't really tested out the full speed. I'm, I'm just trying to really play with this camera here. And I'm gonna put it into normal. And we're gonna go up. Wow, very fast. Check out the colors, looks awesome. And now we're gonna fly forward here for a little bit. So we're looking at just open desert right now. And, you know, it's kind of boring. So there's not really mountains to be looking at. But the so far, like, my first impressions are the drone is, like, very stable. It operates a little bit more fluidly than the DJI Mavic 2 that I'm used to. So now we're going down lower toward the desert here. And I can still see the drone out there in the distance. It's like a little speck, but I can still see it. And wow, okay. So now I'm, I'm playing with the camera now. I'm doing like a pan type of deal. Well, not really a pan, but huh, looks like it didn't fully do what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna have to play with that. So now we're looking directly back at the park and, hmm, interesting. On the, on the Mavic 2, I'm used to like, there being more um, like customization with these buttons. And I'm not 100% sure, like if I move this. Huh, it looks like the, Oh, okay, I see. It looks like I, it looks like it might be locked. Like I can't pan the camera over as far as I'm used to with the Mavic 2. I'm gonna have to look into that to see what's up with that. Um, huh. And it's telling me that there's a manned aircraft here, so fly with caution. It just looks so good though. The 5K video looks really, really good. And you guys are seeing this on your screen right now. Huh. I wonder if I'm able to, <laughs> I wonder if I'm able to unlock the gimbal so that I can pan it over more because it's kind of frustrating that I can't. That's how I shoot a lot of my like cinematic video. Like I'll pan the gimbal over 
and it'll, you know, while I'm moving the drone, it'll give like this look like the drone is turning, but it's not, it's just the cameras uh, moving. So definitely gonna have to look into that. The video looks very crisp though, and the colors are popping really nice. So it'll be fun to get this into editing and especially uh, shooting with D-Log. Now I wonder, I can see the drone right there. I wonder if I, no, I'm not gonna do it right now. I was gonna go into the settings and see if I can fix that thing with the gimbal, but it's not the most like pressing thing. I can do it manually with a controller here. Wow. So what I'm gonna try to do now, actually, I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's get a little bit lower here. Go right over these cacti. I'm gonna turn around here. We're gonna go the other way so that I can still see the drone. Oh wow, I see a little bird there. That's crazy. Kind of like a cinematic revealing shot here. So I just want to say that overall, you know, just from the little flying I've done here, the drone operates really fluidly with this remote. It operates really nicely with the DJI Fly app. But I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the DJI Fly app yet. And I am noticing, I did notice when I was setting up the drone that there are some missing features, but a lot of these features that were promised during the event, I'm guessing are going to be coming in the January software update, which is going to be huge. It's going to add all of the features that they talked about at the event. But it is kind of frustrating that DJI released the drone when it wasn't at its full potential. So, that is kind of annoying. I feel like the first few of us that bought the drone are kind of like the testers. You know, that's kind of how it usually is with technology. Like the first people that get their hands on the technology are gonna have to deal with some issues, are gonna have to deal with missing features. It just is what it is. Let's see. Um, I'm going to stop recording and I'm actually gonna go into the binoculars here because that is our zoom. So we just switched over to that top camera. And if I click on the one here, we can actually zoom in. So now we're four times zoom right now. And now we're seven times zoom. So this was the zoom feature that they were talking about. I wonder if I record okay so now we're recording so now you should be seeing it in full in the full quality it is you can definitely tell that the quality has decreased but wow we are really zoomed in right now so if i let's see i'm gonna like pan over a little bit we can see cars out there driving on cave creek road Wow, that's really crazy. That is like really crazy. 
and I never owned the Zoom. Whoa, that's 14 times, 28 times. That looks really grainy. Let's go back to one, two. Two doesn't look so bad. Four doesn't look bad. I mean, it's obviously, you can tell the quality's not there. You know, it's, it's still like a reduced quality, but actually this should be fun. If I, let me go back to the wide camera here and let's flip the drone around and face south toward Camelback Mountain. So right in the center of the frame there, you're seeing Camelback Mountain. I can actually see it with my naked eye right now, and it looks a lot bigger in person than it does on camera, but keep in mind we're using a wide angle lens, so that could be the case. Let's say if I zoom in to, wow. That is really, really awesome. Let's go up higher. I mean, you can definitely tell the quality isn't there, but it looks really good. Like, it's obviously not 5K good, but it looks really good. I actually think it has a recording in 4k at 30 frames per second it's crazy because you can actually in this shot you can see the 101 which is the 101 freeway in phoenix you can see camelback mountain i mean it's just it's crazy because we're kind of far away from it like we're not really all that close to it i'm just looking to see where the drone is it's right there but um it's just crazy to see it like this. Like this is pretty wild um, at seven times zoom. That's 14 and that right there is 28. So we're looking at the head of Camelback and that's like the hump. That's why they call it Camelback because it kind of looks like a camel. But wow, that's, that's super impressive. I'm not gonna lie, that's really crazy how far it can zoom. Even if it's just, you know, like digital zoom, I think the first seven times are not digital zoom, like that's the actual zoom in the camera. And then after that, it's digital zoom. So, but still pretty, pretty crazy that you can do that. And so if you want to put the drone in D log, which we're shooting at 5.1 K still, you go to the camera settings here and you can flip it into D log. And it looks really, really dull but I definitely prefer this if I'm going to be doing color correcting. I don't know why that was so hard to say. So I'm gonna do a couple of shots in D-Log just to play with that. We're definitely, I feel like we're flying against the wind because I can hear that thing, it's so loud. And Flip this around. So we're at 55% battery and it's saying I still have 20 minutes, which is wild because the other drone that I flew, the DJI Mavic 2, would be dead right now. Like literally would be dead. I'd have to put a new battery in. Then again, I do live in the desert and you know, it's not crazy surprising just because of the heat um, you know, the heat really taxes your batteries a lot. So, so we're coming in here. I'm kind of like going down, let's see. So we're near this field here. I don't really want to fly over these people. We've got some people biking over here. And the footage you guys are seeing, I've color corrected, but the footage you're seeing in the corner that's all like gray looking and bad, that's how D-Log looks when it is not color corrected. But it gives you like a blank canvas to work with and it makes it 
really nice to color correct. So there's me filming right there. Damn. It just, the drone is so touchy. Like I'm not used to it. Like the Mavic is not as nimble, I guess is the word. It's not, it's like, this is so like reactive. I know I can probably play with settings and, you know, play with that and adjust that, but it's just, you know, I'm not used to it yet and I really got to get used to it. I'm definitely going to be flying this drone a lot the next couple days. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be flying with Amanda, so that'll be that'll be cool. She'll be able to get her hands on it, and I'll be able to fly with it more. So I'm flying it pretty low here. But you can see those obstacle avoidance sensors are working. I just want, that's why I'm flying low because I really want to see how well these sensors work. So let's get close to this tree. It can see what's above it, that's amazing. Oh wow, that's some low hanging, low hanging plants. There we go. I see us now. Fly back this way. God, it's so nimble. I'm not used to this. Let's see, so now I do want to take a few pictures. I might as well take a few pictures, so let's go up. I'm not expecting much of a difference from the Mavic 2. There's a four-third sensor, so you know, it's letting more light into the lens. It might deliver a better photo. I'm shooting in JPEG RAW. So I'm just gonna take a couple of photos here. Whoops. I wonder if I tap this. Oh, there is AEB. There is exposure bracketing. There is master shots and quick shots. <sighs> I probably cut it out, but earlier in the video, I was saying none of this stuff existed. It's right here. It's literally right here. Whoops. Let's see. So if I go into photos here, it shows that it's an AEB photo. Wow. Okay. I did just do a software update, like when I turned it on at my house you know, before I came here to fly it, it said there was a software update, so I did it. And I didn't really read it too well because I was just trying to get out. I read like that there'd be like 4K, whatever. But I read some of the features, but I didn't read AEB. So it does have AEB auto exposure bracketing, very important. Now I wonder, I don't know, but if I use the zoom lens here. Okay, so I can't do AEB with the zoom lens. I have to do it with the wide angle lens. 
good to know. Let's see, feature coming soon. So if I press on master shots, it says feature coming soon. Quick shots, feature coming soon. Hyperlapse, feature coming soon. Pano, feature coming soon. So you can't do any of that as of right now, as of the recording of this video, but you can do auto exposure bracketing. So if I switch to video, I have normal and then I have slow motion. Okay, so slow motion does 4K at 120 frames per second. So I can shoot slow motion with this enabled. So that's the thing, if you're gonna shoot 120 frames per second, you wanna shoot it in slow motion. So that's something I learned. Cause when I was in normal, I was looking, see I click on the thing here, I go to 4K and all I see is 60 frames per second. So you have to go to slow motion to shoot that. But it is 4K, so that is pretty incredible. So I'm gonna take it out of here because we're not shooting anything in slow motion right now. And let's see. So right now it is 518, so we have a couple more minutes before the sunset, but it's getting a little darker here. Let me raise that up a little bit put this in record shoot some shots going up so we're going to go up to 400 feet because why not So if I flip it into sin mode, cinema mode, slow speed, then it'll make it easier to get those cinematic, you know, orbital type shots, I guess, if that's even the word. It's amazing how long this battery has lasted. I'm at 27% and I've been flying like for a while now. Like it's 520. I'm pretty sure I took off like over half an hour ago. Yeah, I've been recording for 34 minutes, so. But since we're getting low on the battery here, I'm gonna start bringing it to a lower altitude and then we're gonna bring it in and I'm gonna wrap up the video with my official first impressions of flying the Mavic 3. this direction. Vision sensors blurry, vision system unavailable. It's interesting. Clean sensor, weird. What would I have to clean? Weird, some weird glitchiness, of course. All right, guys, we're going to bring it in for a landing with seven minutes of battery. Like, it's so touchy. It can see me right now, so it's not acting like that. 
But if I step over here off to the side and I keep the, drunk, the camera in view, you can see what I mean. It's just, it's really nimble. But it can see obstacles, so it's not behaving completely crazy. But I, I just want to say my first impressions of the drone, um, I think it's a pretty solid machine that needs work. I don't think it's 100% ready. Like there's definitely software updates that need to be done. Um, there's definitely things that are missing from the drone, like the some of the cool features. So it's definitely a work in progress, but it's kind of cool that DJI released it to people before it was truly officially like ready because it kind of like, you know, you're kind of like a tester almost. And I know people buying a drone this expensive don't want to be a tester. They want it to be solid. You know, a lot of people don't have the extra money laying around to purchase something like this. So when they buy it, they want it to be perfect and they don't want problems with it. So my advice to you is wait to buy it until January after the software updates come out and you get all of the features and it's more refined because, you know, if you buy it now, it's not gonna have everything that you might be expecting. Now, for photos, I will be able to use it for client work since I discovered that AEB does exist. And I also will definitely be able to use this for video. The one thing I wanna get figured out is this gimbal. You know, I like to be able to turn the gimbal from left to right while I'm flying and it seems locked right now. It doesn't seem like it can complete those turns like I want it to. So either I have to dig into the settings or DJI just has simply not released that yet. And so hopefully when I dig into the settings, I'll find it here because I really, that's like a thing that I use a lot for my video. So overall, it's a work in progress. I love the design. Um, I love the new batteries. The battery life is unbelievable. Like the fact that I just flew this drone for as long as I did is still mind blowing. And I still have 17%. So I didn't fully kill the battery. But tomorrow I am going to have a full day of flying the DJI Mavic 3. And there will be more videos to follow. And I'm definitely going to create some cinematic type videos um, just because I love doing that. And just because I really wanna see the cinematic capabilities of the drone. So take this to some cool spots. Definitely wanna go up to Sedona, shoot Sedona with the Mavic 3. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be some awesome adventures with this drone and I'm very excited for it. But it's getting dark out. People are leaving this park, so I'm gonna head home. But if you enjoyed today's video, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated on all of my Mavic 3 videos. And also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way it ranks higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.